Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create a multilingual learning management system by integrating Polylang with Master Study LMS so you can offer your website in several languages and at the same time reach students from all over the world. The greatest thing about Polylang is that it's a totally free plugin. With Polylang, you will be able to translate everything inside your LMS. Courses, lessons, assignments, quizzes, all with manual control directly from your dashboard. So, let's get started by installing and setting up Polylang. Go to your WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins, then Add New, and search for Polylang. It will show up in the results. Go ahead and click Install, and then Activate when it's ready. Right after the activation, the Polylang setup wizard will launch automatically, no extra clicks needed. Step 1 is to add the languages you will be using on your website. Start by selecting your primary language, then add any additional ones you want to support. In this tutorial, as an example, we will add English as a primary language and Spanish as a second language. Next, you will be asked about media translation. This option lets you translate image titles, alternative texts, captions, and descriptions. It's totally optional and doesn't affect your LMS content, so choose what works best for you. In the Contents tab, select your website's default language. In my case, I will keep English as a primary language. All your existing content will be assigned to this language automatically. You will also get a quick summary of your homepage and its language. Review the info, then you are done. That's it, the polling setup wizard is done. You can now return to your dashboard. If you want more details, you can always check out the official docs, which I put the links to the video description. Now, that polling is ready. Let's see how it works inside Master Study LMS. Before you start translating your LMS content, begin with LMS pages. LMS pages are user account page, your course page, checkout, and etc. I will show you how to do it by translating the user account page. In your WordPress dashboard, go to Pages, then All Pages. Find the user account page and look for the plus icon in the Spanish column. Click it to create a Spanish version of the page. Now, enter a title for the Spanish version of the page. Once you are done, click Publish. And that's it! Your user account page is now translated. But as you can see, some words didn't get translated automatically. That usually happens when there are new features or changes in the plugin. Each plugin comes with a .po file, which is the file that contains the translation of the strings of the plugin in different languages. Master Study comes with the most popular languages inside. So, that usually happens when there are new features or changes in the plugin and there are some strings which do not have their alternative translations in other languages in that .po file. By the way, there are two types of string, let's say text you will see, static and dynamic. Static strings or texts are the things like buttons, labels, or menu items. Dynamic strings are usually things users type in, like names or messages. I'll show you how to translate those missing parts later in the video. So now, let's go back to it. You can repeat the same process for the other LMS page. Just make sure to translate all the pages marked with Master Study LMS. They are key for the LMS. I will speed up this part since there are quite a few to go through. Now, let's see how to translate LMS content. In this step, we'll translate a course called Web Coding and Apache Basics. With Polylang, you can translate an entire course and all its content in one go. Each part needs to be done separately. So we'll go step by step starting with lessons, then continuing through the rest. Go to Lesson section under Master Study, find the lesson you want, and in the Spanish column, click plus icon to create its translated version. You will get a blank version link to the original. Just add a Spanish title and publish it. To edit the content, click Edit with Course Builder. Now, translate the lesson duration, short description, and the main lesson content. Once you have added the translations, click Save. You can follow the same process for the remaining lessons. Let's move on to assignments inside the course. 
find the assignment and in the Spanish column, click the plus icon to create the translation. And the Spanish title and translated text. Once you are done, just publish. And that's it. Now let's talk about translating quizzes. In Master Study LMS, quizzes are tightly connected to their questions and answers. Because of this structure, you can directly translate quiz questions like you do with lessons or assignments. Only the quiz title can be translated. So, what's the solution? You will need to create a new quiz in Spanish inside the translated course. But since we haven't translated the course yet, let's do that first. In the courses list, find your course and create its Spanish version. Enter the course title, and publish it. Then open the course builder. The new course will have an empty curriculum, so first create a new section. Then click search materials to find out and import the translated lessons and assignments. You can use a search bar or filters to make it easier. Once done, click import. You can create your new quiz inside this Spanish version. Add your questions and answers in Spanish and save. In this example, I'm just writing Spanish translation of choose the right answer, which would be this one. And for the answer, I'm using this as the translation. You can do the same for all your quiz content, just translate each part into Spanish and make sure it fits naturally. In the Certificates tab of the course settings, you can attach a certificate to the course. For the Spanish version of the course, you don't need to translate your existing certificate. To create a translated version, go to Certificates menu and click Add New. Choose the same template as the original and paste the translations that are needed. Save the change, go back to settings of your translated course and attach the new certificate. Finally, it's time to add the language switcher as the finishing touch for your multilingual site. Head over to the appearance, then menus. At the top, click screen options and make sure the language switcher is checked. You will now see a languages section in the menu editor. Click add to menu, then save it for the menu and your switcher is live. Here is something important, for each language WordPress uses a separate menu. That's why we need to create another menu for Spanish. Set a new menu name, customize its settings to match the current one. So both menus look and work the same, just in different languages. To customize how the switcher looks, go to Languages, then Settings. Under the Language Switcher tab, choose your style, drop down, flex, buttons, whatever fits your wife.
Now your visitors can easily switch the languages and your platform is ready to go global. As I said before, some content may not be translated automatically and that's totally normal. Start with dynamic strings, we can do it with the page builders, like I will show it as an example of Elementor. Simply click on edit with Elementor button. Once you are inside the Elementor editor, you will be able to easily manage and customize your page, move elements around, change locations, drag and drop sections, everything is right there. If you click on the element, the actual text will show up on the left hand panel. You can replace it with the translated version. After you finish updating everything, just save your change and your translated version will be live on your site. Some static names like button labels, system messages or menu items can't be updated with Elementor. In this case, we will use another plugin called Local Translate. Let me show you an example. Analytics is not translated in the menu. To change it, first go to your plugin, search for local translate and install it if you have not already. Once it's installed, go to local translate, then plugins, and select master study LMS from the list. You will see that there are many available languages, but on our website we are using only two, English and Spanish. Now click on Spanish to start translating. In the search bar, type Analytics. It will show you the original string on the left side and there is nothing on the right side. When you select it, the added section opens below, just type Analytica there. After that, make sure to save your changes. Now, let's go back to this site and check. And yes, it's changed, guys. That's how easy it is. Your multilingual LMS is looking better already. As always, smash the like button and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.